Hey, you know, I saw movies about a uh, bird in a box. What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm reviewing the brand new Netflix movie, Bird Box. If you guys don't know how my reviews work, I like to talk about the good, the bad, and then give you my score. Tonight, a very special video. I am ranking the superhero movies from 2018, and later on today, the season finale of Titans. But right now, we are focusing on the brand new movie on Netflix. Let's get into the good. So a woman and a pair of children are blindfolded and make their way through a post-apocalyptic setting along a river. And yes, I guess technically that is some of the movie. A lot of the film takes place in the past. This movie does a lot of shifting back and forth between what's going on in the present, what's going on in the past. It does a major time jump at one point. All of that got a bit convoluted, but overall I can say that Bird Box has some pretty solid performances in it, especially Sandra Bullock. I always think she's great and whatever she does, even if the movie is terrible, I love her. I loved her once again. Something that really just kind of like, okay, I really like that character decision is the way that she treats her kids. She is so straightforward with them. She has to be in the situation that she's in, but she's like, from listen, y'all got to do what I tell you to do. I am your mother. And that's exactly what happens. And I didn't mind the kids either. I thought the kid actors were really good. They weren't annoying. They didn't get in the way. And they did a solid job of doing exactly what the director told them to do. And the director, Suzanne Beer, Beer, there is a, uh, a lot of potential for her in the future. She did a great job of handling these characters bringing the script to life, the source material to life, because a lot of people have told me that this is based off a book. I've never seen the book. I've never read the book, but I was excited for the movie based on the concept alone. She did a really good job, and some of the shots, the cinematography, wasn't bad. There's one in particular that comes to mind. The shot of them going down the river where it's overhead and it's following them in the boat. I thought that shot was beautiful. This movie has a very eerie aspect to it, a post-apocalyptic, if you will, and that's a lot of good stuff. Now, the three films that a lot of people are going to compare this to is A Quiet Place, The Mist, and The Happening. Two out of those three I really do not like. I loved A Quiet Place. It's going to be interesting to see the fans of both because some people are going to be like, well, A Quiet Place copied Bird Box the book, and then other people are going to be like, well, Bird Box copied A Quiet Place the movie. And if you really think about it, I'm pretty sure Bird Box was filmed like concurrently with the end of filming for A Quiet Place, so it's not like they saw A Quiet Place and like, ooh, we're going to take some of these aspects, but watching this movie, it felt like A Quiet Place. Even some of the music that dong, the score of A Quiet Place at times, it felt like it was in this, and the source material is so similar. It's just odd how that played out, and then for me, the major comparison is The Happening. The Happening, if you've never seen this film, my goodness, it is absolute garbage. I hated every moment of it, but there were some things in there that was intriguing. Those things kind of carry over in here because that aspect of suicide, people killing themselves, that's not a spoiler because I didn't tell you who killed themselves. That aspect carries over, and that aspect, in my opinion, was handled so much better than it was in The Happening. This brings stakes, it brings a level of intensity, and the most important thing, the main reason why this is better, is the dialogue. I liked the dialogue. Some of the situations are like, oh, they could have passed over that, and then some of the interactions were a little unrealistic, but overall, I liked the script, I thought the movie was fun, it's something that we have seen before, but it's done in a new and inventive way, and for a Netflix movie, I think this one's a solid watch. Now, my big issue with Bird Box, there are some questions, some major issues brought up throughout the film, and this may have been answered in the book, but it was not answered in the movie. I was sitting there at the end, left with this look on my face like, yeah, it's a, it's a happy kind of Hollywoodized ending for certain characters, but really, I did not get the answers to the questions, and a lot of the times, you guys know me, I love being left on a cliffhanger, but that cliffhanger had to be set up perfectly, and the movie before that had to suck me in and get me so invested that I was okay with the fact that we did not know what happened to these characters, and that wasn't the case with Bird Box. Bird Box just left so many questions unanswered, and so many characters like, eh, did I like what happened to them? Not necessarily. And more important, was it predictable what happened to them? Absolutely. I pointed out, I said, and you, 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 and you, you are going to die by the end of this movie, and you, 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 and you, you are going to survive, and by the time we got close to the end, it was exactly what I said 
was going to happen. Now, is that a negative? Well, the movie kind of sets it up to where you know at the beginning who is going to survive and who is not, and that's going to get under a lot of people's skin, but they still made it so predictable what was going to happen, and by the time we got to those stakes, the stakes just weren't really there because I knew what was about to happen. I knew when characters came in, I'm like, that person's not a good person, and that person is a good person. Now, I liked the actors and the actresses behind those characters, and I thought the dialogue was really good at times, but other times I was just like, yeah, I don't care as much as I should. And at the end of the day, I don't think the movie was as impactful as it intended to be. I was left with many questions unanswered, and there were certain things about certain characters that I did not like, but it was definitely a happy ending for the characters, and if you are okay with that, then I do think you're going to enjoy this film just like I did. I got enjoyment out of it. It wasn't the most fulfilling experience that I've ever seen, but if you're just bored and you're wanting to watch something on Netflix, that's exactly what this movie is for, and that is why I'm going to give Bird Box a 62%. I do think it's worth watching. I do think it's worth trying, especially if you like Sandra Bullock and John Malkovich, who is also really good in the movie. Hey guys, quick announcement. I am doing a YouTube collaboration with anyone who wants to be a part of it. All you guys have to do is download the Stardust app or get on Twitter, record a video of yourself saying what your favorite Christmas movie is and why, and be sure to tag me in that post or video. I will try my best to get to absolutely everyone, and that video will be releasing on Christmas Day. I am so excited to collab with you guys. Now back to the video. So let me know if you guys have watched Bird Box. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you think it was disappointing or underwhelming? This is your space to talk about this film and let's just get things off our chest, guys. Let's talk about Bird Box. And if you've read the book, let me know how good the book is because like I said, I've never read it. I don't know how different the film is, but we can get into all that in the comments section below. You guys are the absolute best. Like I said, so many videos and reviews and countdowns and my top 10 of 2008 it's all coming this weekend and next week. Be on the lookout, hit that notification bell, and be sure to like this video if you want more Netflix reviews. I will catch you guys later.